Hello, my name is Mike Henniger, and I'm the CEO of Alum Student Advisory Services. Alum is an international student recruitment and marketing firm based in Vancouver, British Columbia, which helps schools around the world both grow and diversify their international student enrollments. Today, I'm here to introduce our white paper entitled Recruiting International Students in Africa, a white paper. Really, when we created this document, we were looking to help people better understand the recruitment context in Africa and highlight how to develop a respectful, student-centric approach to stakeholders in Africa, including students, their parents, as well as agents. As we went through the white paper and in our research process, we did some desk research, but I think one of the key things that we did was interview regional experts to get their take on really what makes a successful recruitment program in the African continent. So some things emerged that we found that really stood out as to what successful schools are doing. First, they set realistic targets and admissions policies. They develop processes to ensure accountability from local partners. They attract students who are right fit for their programs. They use their budget and resources to the best effect. In other words, really they have an efficient and sophisticated strategy to make them successful in the region. Lastly, they look to build their brand over the long term. They don't come in for just quick activities or quick campaigns, but they are there for the long term. Overall, we're so bullish on, on Africa as a continent. Did you know that by 2050, one out of every three young people will be in the planet will be living in one region, and that is Sub-Saharan Africa. So you just can't ignore the continent as a source for international student recruitment. And I think another thing that I would add is that we owe it to our uh, students to do better. I feel the way that many schools are recruiting in Africa and approaching it, they're just not putting students first and they don't have a strategy that's gonna really get students information and support they need. The white paper covers many topics crucial to success for student recruitment in Africa, but here I'd like to highlight what our regional experts said in regards to the importance of doing research and building the brand in the region. You know, first of all, you need to accept that competition is fierce in Africa. Rahim Kassan, Chief Operating Officer um, in the Unicef Education in Kenya, said the following. He said, competition is very intense now in Kenya for students. Whereas a few years ago, families might have only thought of the UK or US for a foreign degree, now there is awareness of other options, including Canada, Ireland, China, Slovenia, Slovakia, and other countries as well. They always have a plan B if plan A doesn't work out or if it's too expensive. So really you need to go in and, and segment what you're looking for and know uh, where the students that, you, that will fit into your school and to your brand will be. You know, Duarte Diaz, who is director of, of sales at Alum Student Advisory Services, added that understanding the student segment within a country is key because each segment will be influenced by different factors. Higher income families will be looking at rankings and prestige. Middle class families will want proof of ROI and post-study work opportunities. And lower income families will naturally be price sensitive and need either scholarships or more affordable programs. So both of these experts kind of highlight the fact that competition and, and knowing where your segment is is, is is absolutely crucial to being successful in the region. You know, this was further highlighted by Ebi Obaro, who's president of Maple Education Canada in Nigeria, one of the largest agencies in Nigeria sending students to North America. And, and she says that, you know, there are very good public universities in Nigeria and these are very difficult for local students to get into. As a result, the students who do get in are, are excellent academic quality, but they may not be wealthy enough to pay for full study abroad. So scholarships can be very important in these cases. Then there are students who attend high-end private schools and enter expensive private universities. They will also be very good students, and but their families can also afford to study abroad on their own. So again, I think this further highlights you know the differentiation within regions within countries and 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 i think you know one of the quotes that we have in the white paper is that africa is not a country it's a very diverse region within its own and even within the countries there's further diversification there's further segmentation that you really need to be able to to understand to be successful and i think this quote from ebby really highlights that 
You know, the finance piece in, in Africa is obviously one of the key screening um, pieces, but academic quality and academic preparation is also very important. You know, Chelsea Asierno, the International Student Recruitment Manager and Refugee Settlement Coordinator from Columbia College, alluded to this when she says, Ideally, what you're looking for in terms of first-year international enrollments is a student who has been in high school within the past two years who can also make a one-year tuition deposit. Academic preparation plus financial commitment tend to lead to higher student retention rates and student success. And I think this is a very pragmatic and practical a quote from, from Chelsea who has immense experience in, on the continent to say, look, it's not only do they have the money, but you know what is, what is the level of academic preparation they have? We see some of our clients who are working in Africa that are, are really you know, battling a 10 to 20% visa success rate. And then we have other ones that are well up over 50, 60%. And I think the difference is how they're approaching their student recruitment in the region, how they're screening students and how they're reaching out to the right audience that will be a right fit for their program. We also noted in this white paper that when you're looking at, at selling your brand and you're looking at approaching the continent with marketing materials and such, that going beyond just academic quality and looking for, for things that families and parents are thinking about and putting that in front of them are very important. Loom Student Services staff member Kwame, who's based in, in Ghana, says that colleges and universities should understand that security and safety are priority for African families looking at study abroad options. Security is a competitive advantage for countries like Canada because there's a lot of fear about gun culture and violence in the US, um, even though students like the prestige. You know, so really what he's looking at is saying, like, we know from, from years and years of doing recruitment that things like accommodation, things like uh, housing, things like um, affordability are very important, but there's also other things like, you know, will I be safe there? You know, what will my social life look like? And we see, you know, when this quote from Kwame alludes to this, that, you know, this is indeed um, something that's, that's very important that you need to convey what's the safety, what's the student life like, and also specifically how that relates to African students. In Alum's recent Eastern Africa Roadshow, where over 20 schools attended events in five different countries through East Africa, we had the privilege of having Dr. Chris Taylor from the University of Waterloo. And Dr. Chris Taylor is the AVP of Equity, Diversity and Inclusion there. And him coming through and, and having the students in Africa see someone who looked and spoke like them and the success that they'd had in Canada, academic and, and professional success. Dr. Taylor was literally a rock star on the tour, but it speaks to the personalization and speaking to more than just what is you know, the academic quality and what is the ranking of your school, but really having personalized marketing material that show people from the continent on it and, and not using the same brochure and using the same flyer that that you have for for say China or, or, or say Latin America. We see this as being absolutely so important. And then the other thing when, when you're looking at, at a long term strategy and, and developing your brand on the continent, how important it is to really be able to provide that support and, and you know these students have so many questions. You have to just imagine, put yourself in their shoes and, and you're in Nigeria, you're in Kenya, you're in Uganda, and you're making a decision to go to Canada, the US, the UK. Just how big a decision that must be for you and what type of information that you're gonna want. And we expect these students to just be able to go to the website, glean that information and make an application. It's not gonna happen. You know, with Alum, we have 15 staff based across Africa, and really the purpose of what they do is to be able to provide that detailed information, that very personalized service in the same time zone, rapidly um, 
and when it's needed. And, and we see that being one of the big differences in having an in-country representative in Africa. You know, Illum founder Karuna Osman says, you know, when she speaks to families, she goes, I urge African students and families to ask as many questions of school representatives as they want to know. The kind of supports they will receive if they choose this institution. You know, is it right to know and um, what they should be getting in, in terms of support and, and, and how we will really take them from a prospective student to a graduate and into the work environment beyond and that personalized service that Karuna is based at Lumon and how she approaches families, agents and the students I think is something that's really key and it comes again and again through the white paper where people say having the process, having the supports, having the information needed is absolutely essential to be able to successfully recruit in Africa. As well Loomis just completed the West and North Africa Roadshow where we had more than 20 schools attend events in, in Cairo, Tunisia, Abuja, Lagos, Nigeria, and, and Accra, Ghana. And again, this, this just completed and, and it left us as we went into the white paper and we saw the results of these uh, events that really reinforced what we said in the white paper about the, the, the schools that really focused on their brand, had marketing material and programs that were tailored for the market were the ones that were most successful. And I think that's a really important takeaway for us. Loom is in a unique position having 70 staff strategically around the world in, in Africa, in Southeast Asia, in China, in Latin America, South Asia, Dubai, where we are really able to see a bird's eye view of, of the successes that schools have and also what challenges they have. And as you look at this white paper and have questions on Africa and beyond, I really just hope that this can be an opportunity for us to start a discussion. As always, we love to hear feedback. We love to hear your suggestions, which we can share as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen today and, and please do download the white paper. Thank you very much.